Hello. Uh, if I sound different, I apologize. I sound different because I am not using what I usually use to record my voice. I'm using something else. And if it doesn't sound good, then I apologize. I'm going to go back to the other thing if it doesn't sound good. But for this video, it's going to be this one. And today, we're playing Don't Open Your Eyes. It's some kind of text-based game. That's what it said whenever it loaded it in. It was a text-based horror game. So we're going to play this. Now, uh, for you, probably, at the top and the bottom of the screen, like the very top and the very bottom, it's like black, right? Well, actually, duh, never mind, because the background's, background's black. Okay, let me, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Okay, now look. The top and the bottom, the very top and the bottom of the screen are black. That's because it isn't full screen. Or it is full screen. It's just, like, not getting rid of the taskbar or anything. Like, I can't get rid of the taskbar for this. I don't, I don't know why. It's just, it's weird. Anyway. My eyelids have be, my eyelids have begun to feel very heavy. I better go to sleep. Okay. Good night. I leave aside the book I'd been reading and look out my window. The, oh, fuck, I skipped that shit. Whatever, it's fine. I don't know, it probably wasn't important. Barking dogs, police sirens, or even my own intrusive uh, intrusive I can't read, I'm sorry. Why am I playing a text-based horror game if I can't fucking read? Anyway, but not even the turning gears of my brain are producing much uh, sound. Tonight is just oddly quiet. Quiet. Okay. Good night. Too quiet. Oh, that sucks. Mm -mm. I feel restless. Sucks to suck. Go back to reading your book. My sight veers towards the hallway outside my door. Close your door. The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only ten steps long. Okay. I know, I know since I've made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. Why? One, two, three, uh, absentmindedly, but always. Okay. I don't know why. Me neither. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings to the smallest details. But tonight is different. The hallway looks like it stretches into nothingness, like the throat of a gargantuan beast. Okay. Uh, logical thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just a hallway. But... But what? I don't want to look at it. Close your door. So I can take a deep breath and close my eyes. Or close your door. Or close your fucking door. Okay, or neither. And now we see blackness. Great. In my room... There's some fucking scratches on the wall. Nope, never mind, that's a bed. Okay, there's a bed in my room. There's a closet, right? There's a wardrobe. Okay, closet, wardrobe, they're the same fucking thing. In my room. There's pictures framed. There, uh, there's pictures framed on the wall. And that's your room. Very cool. My room is a part of myself. Awesome, dude. This is great. I'm loving what I'm looking at. It's a world I know the like the back of my hand. Where uh, were someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around, I'd do so without the slightest difficulty. Good for you, buddy. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference, besides the fact that you can see with your eyes opened. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. Good for you. I need to wake up early tomorrow. So go to sleep. I should really try to sleep. Yeah. Good night. Get your imagination the fuck out of here. Oh, uh, nope. One. That's one footstep. That's two footsteps. You said ten footsteps. It's your room. That's three footsteps. Dot, 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 question mark. <laughs> More like dot, 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 exclamation point. I'm fucking jumping through my window. It's the sound of your impending doom. That's four. Are those footsteps? Yes. That's five. You're about to get fucked up. Oh, that's six. Must be my imagination. Oh, no, it isn't. That's seven. Someone's in your house. 
Eight. Two more steps and you're fucked. Nine. Okay, one more step and you're done. Ten. And they're in your room. Great. They're in your fucking room. Yep, okay. Yeah, sure they're gone. Don't you remember your eyes are closed right now and you can't see? This is your imagination. Right? There's no way someone could be here. Oh, someone's here. Has to be. Oh, nope. Mm -mm. Okay. And I think I'm going to close this fucking game because hell no. What? I skipped a dialogue. I don't know what it said, but it probably said nothing. Open your eyes. No. Will not open my eyes. Yeah, no, fuck that. I will not open my eyes. Shit, I should have opened my eyes. He's upset with me now. Open your eyes. No thanks. That's fine. Look at me. No. Yep, just... Nope. Why won't you look at me? Because I'm not fucking alive. I'm dead. You're talking to a dead person. You should leave because who the fuck talks to a dead person, right? Where are your manners? Where are your manners? You're the one who came into my room unannounced. Kind of. I mean, what's your... Well, I don't even know who you are, you bitch. Stranger asks for help. Is it right to ignore them? If they're in your own fucking room at the night time whenever you're trying to sleep, then yes, it's right to ignore them. It is, in fact, how it is. Oh, no. I don't want to feel anybody breathing over my ear. It's cold. Yeah. Cool, man. I will share a secret with you. Mm, okay. I have never seen myself before. Is that why you want me to look at you? How is that going to fucking help? I don't know if my face is ugly. Oh, uh, it's probably ugly. I don't know the color of my skin. Good for you. Okay, it feels like you're here. That is why I need you to open your eyes hmm. so you can tell me how I look. You probably look fantastic. You should leave knowing that. But I'm also shy. Okay, so I won't open my eyes. So I might hide the moment you do. Oh, okay, cool. You won't find me anywhere. And soon, you will forget. Okay. Like a faded dream. Well, all right. No, I am. That's the sound of me sleeping. You listen with those tiny ears of yours. Mmm. They look so fragile. Mmm. Like I could almost grab them. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. You don't feel anything caress your ears. Put my fingers around them. Okay, what is this? Some kind of shitty ASMR? And tear them off. Oh, okay. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hear your voice. Yep. It was a joke. I don't fucking like your jokes. Your jokes are I'm terrible. Ha <laughs> You got me. <laughs> don't be scared. Oh, I'm real scared. Hey. Hey. How's it going? How do you think my eyes look? Looks like they're not there. My fucking life flashing before my eyes. Answer me. I don't want to answer you. They look empty, they look lost, they look broken. I don't fucking know. They look like they're not there, so empty? They look like they're lost. You don't have any eyes. Lost. Yep. Oh, oh, I should have chosen anything else. Anything else I should have chosen. Okay, well, don't search somewhere else. I worry that if I'm not paying attention, he has eyes now. What I'm searching for will slip away. Okay, well, whatever you're searching for isn't over here, so you go find it somewhere else. The thought terrifies me. You know what terrifies me? You and your fucking eyes that I gave you, I guess. It terrifies me so much. I'm sorry to hear that. So I always keep my eyes peeled. Good for you. Even if there's nothing to see. All right. That way, nothing will slip away. Okay. Okie doke. No matter how terrifying the world might be, 
Mm-hmm. No matter the countless terrible things I witnessed by mistake in the process. Alright. No matter what, I will never blink. Okay, maybe you should try blinking at least once. I will forever be confused by the worlds around me. Alright. I will forever be lost. Should I have chosen another option? What is that something that I'm searching for? I don't fucking know. Well then, what the fuck are you even doing? What is it? I don't know. Is it something I can hold? I don't know. Is it a being of flesh and bones? Nope. Is probably not. Nearby? Better not be. Better be far away from here. Is it you? Nope. Hell fucking no. <laughs> nope. It's not me. Fuck you. Hi. Have you ever looked so fervently for something? Yeah, a fucking needle I dropped on the ground because I was worried my dog was gonna consume it and die. Well, to that point, probably not. Have you? No. These eyes. Yes. Are these my eyes? I don't want them to be. Can I say no? Oh, goodbye. Is that so? Yep. How do you think my eyes look? Oh, do I get to choose them all? In our case, it's finally. Yeah, well, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna answer you, motherfucker. They look empty. They look empty. Yes. Uh uh. I regret. 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 Go back to the lost one. I don't give a Maybe fuck. So. Nope. No. I just hit my microphone. The eyes are the window to the soul. Okay. Uh huh. That's what someone told me long ago. Cool. Who was that person? Are they still alive? They said that the soul was holy. It could be. Probably. I would say so. Mm hmm Beautiful. Yeah. Every person has one. Both the good and the evil. Through that. Mm-hmm. But that person said I was the exception. Oh, that person's a dick. Did you kill him? That something like me couldn't possibly own something so holy. I mean, if you're a demon, then no. And I'm pretty sure you're a demon. But if you're not a demon, then probably you have a soul. So bright. You can be bright. So you can be beautiful. They looked inside of me, took a deep breath, and announced their conclusion with great fatigue. Good for you. Their eyes, eyes that could see it all, couldn't find anything in there. Aww. I'm sure that if you were to cut me apart, not even blood would flow out. I'm not planning on cutting you apart, I'm planning on making sure you get the fuck out of here as soon as possible. Even if I felt it sometimes. Okay. What do you have to say about that? I'm playing my fucking keyboard with my fucking feet right now because I'm trying to drink a goddamn Capri Sun. Maybe that's why I've never seen myself before. Maybe, bro. I don't know why you. I don't know what's going on with you, man. You're confusing the shit out of me. Because I'm empty. Good for you. But isn't that something to be grateful for? To be empty? I don't know. Probably not. Because if I were to look and find nothing there. What? What? Would you? By not looking, I can ease myself of that pain. True. So maybe this is for the best. Maybe. I can't remember who was the first to recite these words to me. Nor the second. Nor the third. Did you kill them all? Gotta move my fucking mouse out the way. several others who came after. Okay. Good for you. Hey. Hey. Have you ever felt so empty? So devoid of what makes everyone special? Maybe. That you've embraced the void as your own. Okay, I probably have been in that state before in my life. I don't know when, but I probably have. Have you? I just fucking said I probably have. Yes, of course These I remain eyes. silent. Yes. I want to see all the options, but at the same time, I don't. I'm scared. No, these are not your eyes. What are the last options? How do you think an art answer? I'm going to answer. They look broken. They look. My alarm's going off. That's some poor shit. Sh turn that shit off. Yeah, they look broken. Ah. Uh, 
Okay, this one's slightly better. Better. This one's slightly better than the last one. Yeah. Always training my sight to stare at what's in front of me. Cool. Searching for that one precious thing. Mm-hmm. It's what drives me to look inside places such as this. All right. Well, search somewhere else, please. I'm drinking a fucking Capri Sun. I'm busy. But sometimes I strain so hard. That what happens? Mm-hmm. I thought you couldn't feel shit or something. One after another. Cool. Making a cracking sound as they go. Aww. A sound like... A sound like what? Don't give me an example. Oh. This. Oh. Did you do that to yourself? Cool. In my desperation, I always attempt to piece them back together. I don't want you to have broken eyes anymore, then. I want you to be happy. But at the same time, you scare me. Oh. But they are never there. I'm sorry. Maybe the wind takes them somewhere out of my reach. Maybe. And that makes me sad. Well, then in that case, I'm not gonna let you have the broken eyes. So sad. I put my hands where my eyes should be. Yep. And I borrow my fingers. Oh. And I take it out. Oh. I take everything out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yay. <laughs> Every piece that remains. Oh, yeah. Furious. And wallowing in sorrow. Cool. I pray to whoever's listening to give back what's mine. Mm hmm. To not make me lose more than I've already lost. Alright. I don't want to waste my time. Then stop staying here. For more than I care for. Okay. Yet no one delivers. Um, mm hmm. Well, so if no one delivers, don't waste your time with them. That's my philosophy, and I can't really deliver anything, so don't waste your time and get the fuck out of here. No one is listening. I'm listening. And so I weep invisible tears. Oh. Until I can feel the sorrow no more. Okay. Hey, have hey. you ever strained yourself so hard to see what you want to see that you end up blinding yourself to all? Yeah, I've probably done that before in my life. Have you? Yes, I have. These eyes are these. My fuck. Eyes. Fuck, they ain't. I'm gonna go back to the last ones. So we can just skip this shit. Sounds creepy, dude. Yes, I've done. Yeah, yes. What's this? What's this? Uh, what's this game called again? Um, don't open your eyes. Okay, no. So you won't look at me. Mm -mm. Even though your eyes are so pretty. How do you know if my eyes are pretty? Are my eyes what you're looking for? I can't see them, but I can imagine them behind their veil of flesh. Oh, how cute. Round like pearls. Mmm, so romantic. And shiny like jewels. Ah. So so pretty. Yeah. Oh, okay. So how cl what is he fucking putting his mouth on my eyes? What are you doing? He's like, <sighs> what are you breathing on my eye, you freak? Self, Self voicing enabled. No. Uh, Turn that shit Self off. Self voicing disabled. Self voicing disabled. It's fine. We still have time. Oh, I don't want more time. Great. Stop fucking breathing in my face, please. People are good at closing their doors. Yep, I'm not obviously, I'm a fucking idiot. You know what a door is. Yeah, it's the thing that you fucking walked through earlier. Of course you know. Yeah. You have one. Right there. At the verge of your little world. Cool. A door is a barrier to keep the bad out. Sure. Uh, you? And sometimes. Ah, yes. I can't open doors. I'm sorry, man. I find them tricky. I apologize. Should I push or pull? You can do either one. I don't know. Should I turn the knob left or right? Doesn't really fucking matter. Should I try to take it off its inches? Probably shouldn't. Should I chip away at it, hoping it will fall apart? 
Nope, it's as simple as fucking twisting the doorknob. Any direction. What happens when it opens? You walk through. Do I close it behind me? You don't have to. Do I keep it open? You can. But that might be rude to the person who had it closed. Then close it. But then, how do I get out? Back the way you came. You open it just like how you did when you come in. So many options. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, there's lots of options. There's either go in or go out or stay out or stay in. There's four options. So many things that could go wrong. No, not really. Whenever I stand in front of a closed door, it paralyzes me. I'll make sure to close my door next time, then. I stare at it for a long time. Good for you. And think of my excuses. Nice. All right. What bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist. Yeah, they're actually pretty useful, man. They can keep things out, like how you just said. To keep me out. Yeah. It fills me with the need to go in. Ah, well, with a simple trick, you all you have to do is twist the doorknob and push or pull. You get to choose. Actually, you don't get to choose. It's either one. Um, okay. Anything that might be open. I'll make sure to keep everything closed. Anything that might let me in. I don't want to let you in. With doors. I'm not good around you. But as long as there's a place where I can fit, then I can't go in anywhere. Mm-hmm. Every night, I hop across the shadows of the streets. Ooh. I'm careful, so as to not be caught by the light. Nice. If that's what you're looking for, then how about you rest somewhere far away from here? I slip in and spend the night wherever is comfortable without alerting anyone. You're alerting me right now. So what the fuck do you mean? Usually it's a cellar, an attic, anywhere with dust, with dirt. Go to a forest. I feel that home there. Oh, okay. Well, then just go to somebody's attic. Go to my attic. I, I don't mind as long as you don't ever come out. Unless if you, like, want to play fucking video games, and that's fine. You can do that. I'll fucking hang out with you, dude. But sometimes... Oh. Just sometimes... An urge swells inside of me. Okay. The urge... To be seen. Hmm, okay, well, never mind. Don't go in my attic. Go in someone else's attic. So I search hard. Good for you. For a door that's open. Mm-hmm. For an entryway covered in darkness. Awesome. I'm not awake. As if expecting me. Nobody's expecting you. I did not expect you. I got this game and I knew what this game was about. Like, I knew, I mean, I read the description. It told me it was a fucking tight, like a fucking reading type of game kind of thing. All right? I, I said what it was at the beginning. I knew exactly what it fucking was. Yeah, I still wasn't expecting this shit. But you won't look at me. Nope, I will not. I did not have my door open for visitors. You went inside of my house. This isn't my front fucking door. This is my bedroom door. My front door is somewhere else, unless if I left that open. Get the fuck out of here. Why is that? I, I don't know, because my fucking person I'm playing as is a dumbass and likes to have his door opened. Are you afraid? Very. Do I scare you? Yes. No. That no. can't be it. Mm, nope, it is. You've been chatting for so long. I've been fucking trying to get you to go away. You haven't chased me out. Uh, I'm... I mean, I'm scared to try to. That means... You welcome me. Mm, no. So I'm certain that if I were to reach out my hand... Nope. Oh, nope. You would reciprocate... And grasp it. I probably would not. I'm sure your hands are warm. They bet you they're fucking... I bet you they are. So very warm. Mm mm. Because people are always warm. Not all people, but some people are warm, you know. Hey. Hey. How do my hands look? I don't want to give you hands. I don't want to give you any more things. When my warmth finally meets yours. Uh uh. I don't like that. It, feel? it will feel like fucking hell. Answer me. Okay! They look incomplete. They look tired. How do you. S what? They look incomplete. They look incomplete. 
Yeah. Oh my, oh my, oh no. Why did I choose that one? Fuck. Okay. Maybe so. Yeah, haha. Uh -huh. It's my travels. I have lost more than I can imagine. Hmm. I have left people behind. Good. People who are my chat companions. Oh. Just like you are now. Well, if you leave me behind, does that mean you kill me? Or does that mean you leave me behind and never come back and I'm com completely fine? Move on. Well, Things such as skin, bone, flesh, say bone. Aha! I'm a winner. I knew what you were gonna say. Or anything that makes me me. Or what makes you you? As farewell gifts, you could say. Sure. It sounds like an excuse. I don't know. That's because it is. That sucks. I gotta get my fucking mouse out of here. I, am I think I skipped a dialogue part. Good for you. I can't help but wonder how everything feels to the touch. Mm hmm. Like the crust of a tree or the surface of a frozen. Actually, tree. it's. Actually, shut up. Actually, it's called the bark of a tree, not the crust. Uh, but there's also a chance that it's another word for its crust. I don't fucking know. Anyway, uh, or the surface of a frozen. Cool. But sometimes I find something else. Cool. Like a building engulfed in a raging fire. Oh. Aww. Or the suffering and death and charred skin. Okay. And wonder, how does that feel? Probably doesn't feel good. So I put my hands to the fire. Okay. It hurts, but I tolerate it and keep them there. Hmm. For long enough that the uncomfortable feeling dissipates and the smell of charred skin starts protruding from my own. Good. And for you. I take them out. Okay. That horrible, but intoxicating feeling. And mm. I seek such extreme sensations. Okay. The edge of a knife sometimes provides it. Okay. Other times, the fangs of a beast. Okay. Most times, however, it's by mere accident. Mm. I would place my fingers over a benign surface, only to discover it's covered in spikes. Wow. There as I traverse along it. Cool. Leaving parts of my body as a farewell gift. Mm -hmm. In that sense, it's not so different from what I was saying before. Huh. The fire and the blades are friends. No, they're not. They have granted me times of great fun. No, they shouldn't have. Okay. But there's one thing I've always loathed from these encounters. They're always painful. Yeah. I'd rather they weren't. Then find something else, like eat a chocolate bar or watch a movie. Those things are nice and don't hurt. Hey. Hey. Have you ever placed yourself in harm's way? Me purposely? Like, it purposely because. I want to, or purposely because I feel like I have to, or had to. If I felt like I've had to, or had to, I probably have before, yes. Only to feel a satisfaction nope. you've realized is not yours. Okay, well in that case, no. I've not purposely, intentionally hurt myself because I felt like I wanted to. Have you? No. These hands. No, they are not your hands. I'm not going to let these be your hands. hands. Those are not your going to be your hands. Is Get those hands out of there. No. I don't care about ooh. book deceitful. What does deceitful mean? I want to do. Mm, wait, we did the tired eyes. We'll do the tired one last, but we're gonna go with the deceitful one next. They look deceitful. They look deceitful. Sure. Oh no. Not happy about that. <laughs> no. So. Nope. I'd rather them not be deceitful. Cool. Be it tiny holes in the walls, housing arachnids of all sizes, mm -hmm. or the pockets of midnight walkers, strolling the parks that sometimes serve me as home. Cool. These fingers squirm in and drag out what they find. Nice. So now I carry all sorts of trinkets with me. 
Mm. Keys. Nice. People and gadgets. Mm -hmm. Notes with love poems in them. Oh. The corpse of one or two insects. Oh. Actually eaten away by those who couldn't take their place. Okay. I keep everything with me, regardless of their use. Okay. But sometimes I feel bad. It should be bad. Stealing is wrong. Because maybe it was something important. Maybe. Probably could be, like, if their keys or love poem, there's a chance that they'll be a little distraught. Their happiness shattered. Okay, well, they'll get over it eventually. I mean, unless if you took the ashes of their fucking mother or some shit, or the ashes of their son that they just cremated, then they'll probably be shattered, yeah? Their lives ended. Probably not, unless if, I don't know, you took their gun off of them and there was a bad guy coming up to them and they just got fucking murdered. Because they didn't have their gun. So I consider and consider maybe dropping them somewhere in the park. Hey, you can do that, I guess. But what if I need them? What could you possibly need them for? What if the keys can one day open the door I want? Probably not. What if the poems help me befriend a new partner? Probably won't. What if the arachnids serve me as unlikely sustenance? Probably could. So too afraid to find out the truth. Okay. So I let them stay with me. I'm confused with your bullshit. Slowly becoming a part of me. Okay. Helping me grow. Nice. I've grown so much. I had to lower my head when entering your room. Mm. These fingers won't stop squirming and coiling around everything they feel. Nice. And I can only hope. Okay. I would be saddened if my body grew too much. If it grew too much to the point where you couldn't come to my room anymore, that'd be great. Because I wouldn't get to enter hey. rooms anymore. Please continue growing. Hey. Hey. Have you ever attempted to help yourself grow? Sure. By I have. By taking away from someone else. <laughs> okay, no. Well, you know what? Maybe I have whenever I was little. I probably have stolen from people before. But, uh, by mercilessly, mercilessly, oh my god, I can't read. Oh, okay. By mercy, merc, mercilessly, by doing, by taking away from someone else. Uh, I probably have once or twice before in my life, maybe even more, I don't know. I don't remember the last time I did it, though. Have you? I probably have. No, they are not your fucking hands. Get rid of your hands. My I don't want those hands. Is that so? No. How to put my hands? I don't give a fuck. Your hands look, look tired. Tired. What do tired hands look like? I I don't think that's what a tired hand looks like, but okay. That may be so. These fingers of mine have touched so many things. Oh, that sounds so bad. They are always stretching forwards. Good for you. Reaching out for something mm -hmm. the tip of my fingers dance over the surfaces that i travel okay and their sensations reach the core of my brain all right being the softness of the first spring flowers oh or the roughness of a wall made out of rubbish okay caressing grabbing clawing shitting my pants as well no matter the time of day ouch i can elbow my desk Okay. As if they had a mind of their own. Nice. Even now, they clutch onto the fabric of your bed sheets. Not fun. Not fun. Not they fun. like how these thousands of threads intertwine with each other. Good for them. They can. You know what? You want to have it? They can have it. I don't give a fuck. The rustle of fabric against fabric, of skin against skin is. What are you gonna say? Sexual. Oh, good. You sound like you have some strange-ass kinks I've never heard of. They want more. Mm, you can take the blanket. Take it! They want to feel closer. To the blanket or to me? Please, let it be to the blanket. To have it between them and around them. More and more and more. Then take the fucking blanket. Sometimes. However, they can reach as far as they'd like. As 
Sucks to be them. That's when I... When you... Lend a hand. What do you mean, lend a hand? Your hands are doing the shit, and then you lend a hand to your hand? I take over and... Stretch. 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 And they grow. Mmm, so that's why your fingers look like fucking... Weird-ass spiders. Okay. Maybe just the length of a fingernail every time. Okay. Good for you. Just so they can reach out, clutch what they want, and then throw it aside. Cool. Discarded. And forgotten. Alright. That's why they are tired. Probably. Because they never stop seeking. Mm-hmm. Let them take a nap. And most likely, never will. That's sad. Hey. Hey. Stretch them to the length of yours? No. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, how about we word this more in a more humanoid way? Have I ever reached out to something to grab a hold of something important? Uh, yes. Only to learn that it's been long out of your grasp. Okay, yes, I have. Have you? I have. These hands. Yes, sure, they can be her your hands. I don't give a fuck. They're tired, just like your eyes. So yes, they match. Okay. Open your Fuck eyes. you. I'm not opening my eyes. Of course so you don't. You won't look at me. No. Even though my hands could be the same as yours. There's no way in hell my hands are the same as yours. Think about it. Fuck that. Maybe you and I are similar. Maybe not. No. I know we are. We're probably not. I can feel it in my skin. What skin? I can feel it in my fucking heart and soul that we're not similar. Oh. Oh? What's that? Can you hear it? Is that you or is that me? Boom, boom. My skin is pulsating. It's called a heartbeat, but okay. It has been long since this happened. Mm, what does that mean for you? It's Are you ready to mate? What does that fucking mean? Flowing out. Aww. Under the world, wanting to be seen. Uh huh. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look. You look great. Get the fuck out now. But it's not like anyone will do. Okay. If it did, then it would be oh so easy. Why not let it be easy? Since I could show myself to everyone at once, every living person in this land. And ask them all the same question. Someone will answer. There's no doubt about it. Probably. But it might not be the answer I wish for. And that's life. You gotta, you gotta just accept it, man. Since I don't want to be judged. Okay. I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not. Okay. It scares me. And that's the world, man. But you'll find somebody that won't perceive you as your appearance and who you really are on the inside. Even though who you are on the, really on the inside kind of seems a little bit spooky, uh, maybe you're fine. That is why when someone is on the verge of looking at me, I shy away. And then why would I fucking look I at you? Hide, fading into the dark. Cool. But you might be different. How? If it's you. It might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. Alright. That way you can help me. Okay. And we can both be fulfilled. Sure. Uh, just thinking about it, it makes me feel... Horny? Yep. Feel... Something. I cannot describe it. Mm-hmm. Better at words than I am. You can pronounce words I can't, like mer. mer yep. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. Good for you. What did you speak before? Fucking tongues? They were not good at it either. Oh. And thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. Oh. To teach a wordless being how to talk must be a challenge. Probably. Yet, they did. Good. That's good. Simply because they could. Nice. It is weird to remember. Because it makes me think of why I want to be seen. And I am not. Sure. Mm -hmm. I don't care much for my appearance. 
Then why? Tell me, why do you want me to look at you? I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. Mm -hmm. So why is it? Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? I'm asking the same question. My alarm is about to make me fucking kill somebody. Maybe it's only because I can. Because you can what? Because everyone gets to be recognized. Oh, okay. But me. Well, I apologize, man. But I will. Uh, okay. Soon. Cool. Once you open your eyes. No, thanks. Stop doing your weird fucking heartbeat. There it is again. Good for you. Just thinking about the moment you unveil your sight onto me. Hmm. And you finally take those bed sheets off your body. This sounds sexual as fuck. And you inspect every crevice of mine. Yep, this is sexual. This is a porn game. And you finally, finally, finally open those tight lips of yours. Yep, this is a sex this is a sex game. This isn't a horror game, by the way, guys. It's actually a sex game. Um, I thought it was a horror game, but it turns out I was wrong. To let me hear what I am. Okay. To maybe even give me a name. Your name is John. Your name is now John. It makes me feel. But I don't know what. Why? Why do I want your name to be John? Surely your name isn't it. John. If you were to look at my face. Hey. Hey. What does my expression look like? It looks like your name's gonna be Jacob. Your expression is the name Jacob. The of uncertainty finally disappears. What will we convey to each other? I don't know. Answer me. I want to. It's an emotionless stare. It's a surprise grimace. It's a cheerful smile. I feel like the emotional stare would best fit how he looks right now, so we're going to go from top to bottom. It's a cheerful smile. A cheerful smile. Yeah. Oh, ha ha, it's so cute, yay, ha. That may be so. No, it's not so. It would only make sense for the end of this journey to bring me joy. Yeah. It has been so, so long. Mm -hmm. I can no longer remember where it all began. Oh. But who's to say it had a beginning? Yeah. Maybe the starting point is that faint memory. The earliest one I can recall. I was... Walking. Walking where? And for some reason. Or somewhere. It's daytime. Guess I'm not gonna know. I rarely travel during the daytime. Wow, I can't believe it. Daytime traveling? What the fuck is wrong with you? Only when the fear of being seen isn't there. So I must have believed that was the case. Mm. But it's strange. Since the place I was walking through was a city. One full of people. I couldn't see them, but I knew they were there. Uh. Hiding in the shadows, with their backs against the dirt. Okay. Completely motionless, completely silent. Like me. Living in wait of their deaths. And what's more, none dared to look at me. I'm sorry for you. Did they even know I was there? Probably not. Maybe. They did not care. There's a chance. If you're walking in the streets of New York, then 100% they didn't care. In New York, it doesn't matter what fucking happens. They don't care what the fuck happens. You could be walking around butt-fucking-naked with a fucking Elmo vibrator in your asshole and a, holding a flag of a fucking swastika and nobody would care. Nobody would notice. They'd think you're just an average Joe. Oh. Living in fear of what others might think. That is true. There's a lot of people who feel that way in this world. And who's to say I wasn't one of them? Maybe. Maybe I spent my days as part of the scenery as well. Who knows? And one day I decided to go for a walk. Mm -hmm. A walk that hasn't yet found its end. Nice. It's my earliest memory. And my most joyful one. Good for you. No experience after that made me want to smile more than that. Mm -hmm. So if you say I am smiling, then surely that's how it must be. But tonight, I'm not joyful. 
I apologize. So if my expression is truly one of cheer, then I must be lying through my smiling teeth. Okay. Hey. Hey. Have you ever expressed honest happiness in your face? Yes. In reality, you're feeling anything but. Everybody's done that. Everybody in this world has done that. Some people decide to take it to the next level and make it more serious than it needs to be. But if you're, if you're in a situation where it's like you don't want to ruin other people's moves, then yeah, you do that, right? But if you start acting like you're always depressed and upset and you're having a fake smile all the time, then, well, that's just sad. That's going to make people not want to be around you as much. All right? Whether if you're happy or not, you gotta you gotta try to be happier. You know, I don't know. It's hard for me. It's fine. I saw I've done that before. Everybody's done that before, but some people do it too much. Have you? This yes, I have. Is this my expression nope. It's is not gonna be your so fucking expression. You just told me you weren't joyful anyway. Would that fill of uncertainty? Ah, uh, 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 it's a surprised surprise. grimace. Grimace. Please don't tell me this one looks scary. Yeah, that looks scary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nope. Tonight is the first I hear about my eyes. Or my hands. Yeah. And the new and unexpected is always a source of surprise. Sure thing. People always act surprised when I show myself before them. I thought you didn't show yourself to anybody. I don't know. So it makes sense. And my appearance would surprise me. As well. Yeah. At times, they stop moving, barely looking at me and all. Oh. At others, they scream and run and exhaust themselves to the point they can't think. That's sad. Others, they don't feel much at all. That's what happens when you walk in the streets of New York. They sit and stay and attempt to talk. That's less of New York. Most of the time, people in New York don't give a shit. They're just minding their own business. I don't like. I apologize for you. It's like they are not seeing me. That sucks. Not recognizing me. Oh. I much prefer when they freeze. I much prefer when they scream. Oh. The reaction is what I want. Okay. It's a sign that I am there. Okay. And that my existence means something to them. Okay. That's why I like you. Oh, I'm not even giving you any reactions. You did not scream. Yet you did not run either. True. You were surprised and averted your eyes. But instead, you stayed. Mm -hmm. Listening. Acknowledging. Yes. You were the first to do this for me. Aww. You were new and unexpected. Aww. Yet, how odd is this really? Oh. But what I'm feeling right now, what I'm experiencing, it's not the same as those who've seen me. As if their surprise was something different from mine. Hmm. Hey. Hey. Have you ever acted surprised? Not because you are, but because you believe that's how you must feel. Yes. I have. There's been times where I knew what I was going to get for Christmas. And I acted surprised, but I knew what I was going to get. Because that's how I had to feel. Because if I didn't act surprised, I would have known that I knew what my Christmas gift were. Boom! So yeah, <laughs> I have. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have as well. Have you? Yes. This expression is this my expression? I don't know. I feel like this is maybe, but also at the same time, we got to see the other ones. we got to see all the options, even though this is going to be like a two-hour long fucking recording. Is that so? We gotta see all of them. What does my, what that fill? La, 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 la. An emotionless stare. Emotionless stare. How does that look? It's like your mouth is stitched up. Okay. That may be so. Expressions are difficult. That is true. They require one's face to contort in many different ways. I am not capable of that. No. Oh. Everything about me is stiff. Okay. It is something I noticed long ago. I may hurt and I may grow, but I do not change. Not in the way other people do. People interact with each other. They form connections.
actions. They experience thrills. A person becomes somewhat different with each passing second, turning old and perishing. However, I don't think I'm capable of any of those things. That sucks. Well, actually, is that good? I don't know. My journey began long ago. Yeah, it probably sucks. Longer than any person has ever journeyed. And in my life, I have seen others born and die. Born and die. That sucks. A person's existence is so fleeting. And yet, so many things happen to them. So many worthwhile memories. It is something I lack. Were I to write a book, I could not fill a single page. It's not for the lack of memories, but rather because these memories mean nothing to me. Oh. Save for a minuscule number, they are all the same, blending with each other into a mottled gray, lacking the meaning people often give to that which they care about. Perhaps if someone else had lived what I had, they would see meaning. They would treasure it. But I cannot. No matter how I try, I can't see any worth in what I do. And by extension, in what I am, I want for someone to tell me how I look. Oh. Yet, I don't see that as important. Then leave. Uh That is a true thing. I hear that a lot. If if no one else cares, then why should you care? You know? Well, if that thing has meaning to you, then why should you not care? Alright? For example, if you feel like nobody cares about you, then why should you care for yourself? Well, if that has meaning to you, then you should. If you think your life has meaning, which you should, everyone's life has meaning, and I think my life has meaning. I think everybody's life has meaning. And because of that, I know that I matter. So I know that I should care. So I do care. I care about myself. Other people care about me too. But if you feel like there's something that has meaning to you, something that's worth caring for, just because other people might not care about it doesn't mean you shouldn't care about it. That's, that's my philosophy. But that doesn't mean... Nice. Joy, sorrow, fear. I am always feeling, and right now. You're feeling excited. You're feeling horny. I am feeling strongly. Good for you. It's here, in my pulsating skin. I thought it would be your heart, but if, if you want it to be your pulsating skin, that's cool too. You say my expression is emotionless, that it shows nothing. Mm hmm. I don't think it's true. But soon you will see something. But soon you'll see something. Because what I'm feeling is not nothing. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Have you ever masked yourself with indifference? Only to hide the overwhelming emotions hiding beneath. Just like the first one, uh, this is pretty much the same thing as the first one. I'm pretty sure everybody's done this before. But some people do it too much, and they probably shouldn't. Have you? Yes, I probably have. No, I have. It was like everyone else. This expression is this. My expression. No. Somewhat dis when that I think I think his expression is this one. As scary as it looks, I think this one should be his. Uh, I think this one should be his. his. I gotta skip all of this because we've read all of it already. Yes. Thank you. Of course. Oh, so we're done. Yay! These are my eyes. Mm -hmm. These are my hands. Kind of wish you didn't have those hands, but whatever. And this is my expression. Yeah. Look at this finger over here. It looks like a fucking weird ass twig. This finger over here looks like a twig that was ran over a couple of times and then that also was underwater for 27 years. I consider these my most treasured features. Good for you. Nice. No one has done this for me. Well, I have. You're welcome. I feel a connection with you. Okay. This is where the porn part comes in. One born out of honest gratitude. 
I'm boring. Sorry, I was reading some real quick. But there's one step left. Okay. You need to make sure of the truth. It is the only way to finally understand each other. So please, I beg of you, open your eyes. Can I save? I can. Save. Okay. I'm going to say... I'm going to say yes. See what happens. And he's not fucking there. Cool. Oh, what? No. We're not starting from the beginning. No, I will not open my eyes. No. Glad you understand. No, it's fine. You have still helped me by answering my questions. Glad. No one has done that for me before. And my reward should be you leaving. So I have no right to ask for anything else. Sure thing. That's what I like to hear. Goodbye. See you never. No. Oh. Oh. Ever since I stepped into this room, you have refused to engage with me. What do you mean? Not even once. I have. Not even once, not even once, not even Oh, okay, once, okay, once, I'm about done with this game. Once. Not even once. Did you open your eyes? I wasn't supposed to. Not even once. Did you look at my face? He couldn't. You told me you'd run away if I tried. I responded to everything you've asked me. What do you mean? Feigning ignorance and not moving an inch. I, I don't know what you want. At times making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. No, it wasn't. You haven't opened your mouth. Are you able to read my mind? But you didn't need to. Good. I can hear far, far beyond what most others can. So you can hear my thoughts right now. Can you hear what I'm thinking? I'm hearing. Can you hear what? Can you hear what's going on right now? I'm shaking my pants. Can you hear that? And I can't see further than what others would consider the dark, empty bottom. Okay. That's why I know that I wasn't wrong. Okay. You are like me. Oh, great. We are the same. Mm, the fuck we aren't. You too. Look for what's not there. I'm not looking for anything right now. Maybe. And you too are a liar. When? The type that shows one thing. I try my best to fit your description with all these expressions and bullshit. The type that shows one thing. No, fuck you. I tried to find every all the questions you asked me, I try my best to fit that into your description. I think you're tired. I think your hands are tired, and I think you're surprised. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I looked into it. I took time. But you made a mistake. No, you did. Because I got a fucking Glock 9 in my fucking under my sheets right now. I'm about to pull it out and shoot you. I know you're lying. You're lying. Because every answer you've given me so far has been wrong. What do you mean? What are the right answers? I am not what you said I am. I, th I thought it was exactly who you... Th I... Mm. These eyes. These hands. This expression. Goodbye, eyes. Goodbye, hands. They Goodbye, mouth. Mine. Then what is yours? Maybe they are yours. Oh. But I do not care. Oh. Not anymore. Then leave. Open your eyes. Yes. I didn't want to be judged. Okay. something I'm not. And that's all you did. I literally just told you I did I ooh, I did exactly what you wanted me to do. You're dumb. So now you will open your eyes. No, I will not. And see me for what I truly am. Invisible man? Because last time I opened my eyes. Remember. I didn't say anything. 
Oh shit, he read my thoughts whenever I said that. Through that. Those words that brought me here. Oh, great. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. So you have to. You have to do right by that which you claimed. It is time. Open your eyes. No thanks. No, <laughs> no thanks. Open your eyes. Okay. What are you going to do to me if I don't? He didn't even say anything. That time he didn't even say anything. He just, he just did that. Okay, I have an option. All right, Coolio, Mick Coolio, save. And we're going to see what happens. Yes. You had your chance. It's not up to you anymore. I just said yes. You won't open your eyes. Well, hold up. Maybe I pressed the wrong option. No, I don't know what. No. Load this one. Yes. You had your chance. Okay, no, I did click the right one. It's not up to you anymore. You won't open your eyes. I will. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mm-mm. And everything's faded in black. I'm dead. He killed me. Great. Ah, uh, your eyes are as beautiful as I imagined. Glad you got to see him. Tell me, my new friend. What do you see? Death. I want to answer. That they grab it on my head and won't let me talk. But what I see, what I see is... Nope. Okay. Nope. Okay. I close my eyes. That won't do. I'm surprised he showed himself to me. Open your eyes. I just opened my eyes. You forced my eyes open. Open them. He's killing me. Open them now. How am I supposed to open them if I'm dead? Man, this is a bop. Open, open, open. You keep on saying the same shit. Say something else. Oh. It seems I did it again. Oh, again? You can't see anymore, right? Nope. You can't talk anymore, right? Nope. You can't think anymore, right? Probably not. Then, this is farewell. Goodbye. Thank you for trying, friend. Oh. Thanks. I must go. Goodbye. Must look for the right person. All right. Someone who can tell me how I look. Someone who can explain to me why everyone looks like that when they do. Bye-bye. There's something in my hand. It's what they left behind. What is it? Feels important. But I can no longer open my eyes. <sighs> okay. So, um... Excuse me. But what? Not, but I'm confused now. Like, is there more to this game or not? I don't know. Well... You guys let me know in the comments below if there is more to this game or not. And if there is, I'll, I'll try it out. Maybe. But, uh, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, maybe subscribe, and I'll see you all probably tomorrow. Love you guys. This game wasn't that bad. It was actually kind of nice. It wasn't even that scary. I love it when games that are horror games aren't actually that scary. It makes me fucking happy. Anyway, love you guys.